morning guys um please do not mind what i look like right now i just woke up welcome to this video i am just basically going to be doing a very quick vlog of my week um it's meant to be a more interesting week than usual but i will see what kind of footage i get um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video i absolutely love this color um so it looks red in this video but it's like a hot pink <laughs> Almost ready. I'm not going to hospital with my hair like this. So, quick update. I'm actually on gynecology now. Um, so I've got three weeks of gynecology. I'm writing a test, well, a couple of tests next week that count for marks. And then, what else am I doing? Then the following week, I'm writing another, well, the final examination for obstetrics and gynecology. And then, um, <clears throat> oh then what else is happening oskis again for obstetrics and gynecology so i've been studying for the most part um i'm going to study again when i come back i know that you guys like see me study a lot like on my channel and i'm pretty sure like for a lot of people that's like it looks boring because it is boring i know um but like it's literally the reality of being in medical school basically studying medicine like in previous years i didn't study the way i study now like i wouldn't study this much i definitely prioritize my social life sometimes over academics um i prioritize me going to shoots and like just other things my other um what do you call them like hobbies over being or studying medicine but like yeah final year is very very hectic um, another thing about final year is you actually just want to finish like you get to the point where you just don't want to be here anymore you've been studying for six years and yeah you don't want to prolong you know your study time or your your year any longer um so that's where i am in my life and that's why i'm studying so much and that's why i study so much because i want to promote most of my things and not have like a whole lot of exams at the end of the year because if you promote then you don't have to do exams um you exempt from exams and then you know you just keep it moving so that's why you know you see me study quite a lot on my channel it isn't yeah, it's, it's, it's just something that needs to happen. So I just need to fix my hair and then I will be back. So I'm outside because I actually need to quickly get a delivery for me. Um, so, um, yeah, I know it's super early in the morning and I have a delivery from Nate Florist. So we will see what it is and hopefully I find the guy. Um, so I just got back. Um, yeah, so these are the flowers I just got. They actually match me, which is crazy, but um, 
it is my birthday week, so this is really beautiful. Um, I have to go to hospital though. Um, this is pretty much where we see our patients. Um, I am back. I actually I'm I'm like dressed differently because I went out for dinner for my birthday. Um, so yeah, it was quite nice actually. I haven't been out in a long, long time. Obviously, because of what's going on right now. Um, so I've been trying to avoid. Oh my goodness, I have a huge pimple on my cheek. But anyways. I've been trying to avoid anything that has to do with just being out because obviously COVID is very real, very rampant and it would be irresponsible for me to act like it doesn't exist. So yeah, but I feel like yeah, because it's my birthday and it was just nice to be out, you know, but yeah, I have to get undressed, take off this makeup and prepare for tomorrow because tomorrow is another day in hospital <laughs> um yeah but i had a really good day i feel really blessed i will chat to you guys tomorrow glossing over my application for internship so for the people that do not know um, medical well medical students apply for jobs differently um, to everybody else we don't necessarily go for interviews we don't have to really put up a CV just yet or anything what we do is when you're in final year you have to start um, an application process for internship um, where you're going to basically work for the next two years and it has to be in a public hospital in South Africa. So they give you a list of the public hospitals that we can work at um, and the process is that you can choose a maximum of um, five hospitals across the country and it's literally a randomized um, like application or the, the way they place us is random supposedly according to some sort of algorithm and yeah so um i am from johannesburg and so i want to go back to Gauteng because i feel like i've definitely experienced what i wanted to experience in cape town um i have been away from my family for a long long time and i want to just go back home because um, yeah, like I want to go back to the place that I grew up in, not necessarily the city or the town. I am from Madrid, but I don't necessarily want to go back there, but I want to like start my young adult life, um, like in a city like Johannesburg for multiple reasons, other than the people, just the things to do. Obviously COVID is still around, but I mean, you know, finding my own apartment, 
um, getting a car finally, like all those little things I think I just want to be in Johannesburg for. So I am just glossing over and finalizing my application. So yeah, it's nerve wracking, it's scary. I'm actually quite nervous because I really want to be in Joburg. Um, my second um, province that I would like to be placed in is KZN only because I really enjoy being near the beach and being near the ocean. Um, I spend a lot of my holidays, like December holidays, um, around Durban or Margate. And I feel like, yeah, it's a very nice place to work in. Um, my granny also lives quite close to, um, um, like in that area. So that would be great if I could see her more often. Um, and then, Cape Town is also in that list because, I mean, it's very well developed. The hospitals here are fantastic. And um, I've done a lot of, obviously, my training in Cape Town. So I'm familiar with a lot of the hospitals. I've been to Vista Hospital. I've been to Paul Hospital, um, Carl Bema Hospital. Obviously, I work at Tigerberg. Um, so I'm also comfortable with any of that. But guys, I just don't want to, like, be here anymore, if that makes sense. But I mean, if I am placed here, it's not going to be a train smash. I'm not going to be completely upset about it um, but let me show you guys what the site looks like so as you can see um, this is you know it says internship and community service program so these are just like small details and obviously we can actually apply for things like um, social impact or compact sorry <laughs> social compact for if you are married or whatever or you want to apply with um, another person or if you have a child in um, school and obviously like if you have a criminal record um, stuff like that and then you choose your provinces that you want to be in and then obviously these are the different hospitals that we can work at so yar it is it also actually sorry about this it actually also shows you um how many people have applied at a specific hospital so for example if i just randomly choose helen joseph um there have been 196 applications so yeah it gives you a gauge of you know how your chances of actually being in a hospital or being chosen to get to that specific hospital but yeah i just wanted to show you guys how that looks um I'm not going to really share my options just yet because I, I don't know, I'll share once I get my, my, my placement and hopefully it's a happy day, a good day and I'm not crying. Hi guys, so I am back at my desk as you know it. Um, right now I'm studying ectopic pregnancy. Um, um, yeah, Daini is a very loaded um, module. The last time I did gynecology was in fourth year. So that's like two years ago. And I mean, the knowledge is still there in some sense. But I definitely think that I need to go over these things at least twice before the tests or before the test rather to feel comfortable with the, with the work. But yeah, I'm going to spend the rest of my evening once again studying um hopefully it is um a very productive study session because i have a shoot early tomorrow morning um for a couple of hours and then i have to come back and settle in again and then try to get myself to study so this is actually how i juggle or previously how i juggled studying medicine and modeling so a lot of the times i have to study a lot more or dedicate a lot more time in my study sessions because um i know that at the end of the day i'm gonna miss out on study time so i need to when i study i need to study effectively not be on my phone not be distracted by conversations uh, with the people that i live with because it's so easy to want to chat to people all the time to converse in the kitchen and you know talk about life um but i've had to be disciplined because a lot of the times i always have like other things going on in my life that i have to dedicate time to um but yeah i am gonna now just study and i'll catch you guys later
Hi guys, so today is Saturday and I am about to leave for the shoot. Um, I've just put on like some very light makeup because I usually try to put on like foundation and base before I go because I've had some pretty interesting experiences where people don't really know or like they don't have the color or they don't have my foundation color um, so it makes it like difficult for me to go to shoots but yeah hopefully I'm, I am able to get some footage um, we will have to see according to like how everything goes but yeah I'll catch you guys later bye let's see if I can warm you up oh babe snuggle babe So I'm shooting active wear and this is my outfit. Just wait. Let me drive you crazy. My cut baby. Wanna stay. Let's get stupid lazy. This is my favorite part Hold me like it's out of style Imagination is running wild Eternity is in your smile 